I have a whole life of service. What others did for, for myself to be where I'm at now, that's service. It's sacrifice, you know, with no question. It was like, it's unconditional, that's service. I'm a naturalized U.S. citizen, uh, so I was born in the country of Laos. My story, I mean, coming in, it was a, it's a, it's a, it was a sense of a new life, I guess. It's a story of survival, you know, and uh, opportunity to its very essence. You know, America, the American dream, uh, that they like to say, what, what's the American dream? All of my life I've been wondering what is the American dream because uh, we didn't have those type of dreams growing up. You know, it was, it was totally different. The life was different. We're immigrants. That's why my story is unique. 1977, my parents had me uh, in May or June. And in August of 1977, um, it was a situation where they called, like my mom would call it, the term was uh, uh, bond bag, meaning in the home exploded. Once the war stopped, that didn't stop everything else that was happening internally. All the civil wars and the battles that were happening in different villages along the borders and things like that, because it was kind of like betrayal. And they were still trying to uh, take over, the, the Vietnamese, the Viet Cong, I should say. So we left, they left in August. My parents, my parents left in August uh, and basically uh, went into the jungles. And it was, it was a suicide mission. You're gonna leave uh, the confines of the village, leave that living, but then you're going into a, a world that's so unsure, like, you don't make it. Like, you're gonna walk all the way to refuge. You're gonna, you're gonna walk into another country and hope that that country accepts you. Like, hell, if you can even make it. They took that chance. It was like, uh, my dad was ambitious enough to say, and stubborn enough to say, I'm leaving because I want my kids to have a better life. So they stayed, my, my parents uh, left, left in August. They stayed in the jungles for six months, living off of roots and berries and uh, whatever the jungle had to offer. Uh, I was a baby, so I needed milk. Uh, so my mom said they would stop at farms, at different farms and barns, and uh, basically get the milk from the yak, or get it from the ox. Uh, and that's how I would get milk. And so that's how, they would, that's how they would feed us. And they lived in the caves, uh, in caves on the hillside, uh, in, in the bushes um, for six months. Uh, so my mom would tell me that many people would die, uh, die of starvation, malaria. They, 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 uh, not only did, did they die of starvation, but they were walking on uh, landmines, you know, getting killed that way. Whole families would just blow up right in front of them or right next to them, and they just kept moving. So for six months, my mom said it was like a nightmare, but she was determined. So it was just amazing how they, you know, found ways to, to survive, and it, it's all fate, I believe. You know, somebody's watching over us. I joined because it was one of those, uh, it was a situation where uh, it was literally a matter of uh, life or death. Um, and, and it sounds maybe absurd, but it was uh, coming from where I was, I was raised at, and uh, I, I joined. Uh, I guess it was like my last, my last ditch effort of hope. So it, you know, the, the Air Force has a lot to do with where I'm at now currently. So I mean, it's an it's an honor to, to uh, to serve and to con continue serving. Every day, I'm trying to learn more and more about the legacy of the Air Force and. Uh, how it ties into my past, you know, because it's, it's kind of funny if you know the history of Laos and then the Air Force, and then here I am serving the Air Force. I should be bitter, but my father would tell me uh, that was before your time. That wasn't your fight. You know, the Air Force is doing uh, well for you right now. You're doing well in the Air Force. Uh, do not hold a grudge uh, because that wasn't your fight. You know, uh, you don't control the leaders of that country um, you know, you, you respect where your ancestor, you know, your ancestral traits came from, uh, and where your heritage is from, but you didn't cause that fight. You know, everybody had their own choices, and that's the beauty of uh, serving in the Air Force, is because we actually fight for that essence, to have a choice, freedom.